Hey Jiggies, okay today we are doing another water marble painting, this time a galaxy. Someone over on Instagram mentioned that my previous water marble painting, which was a sunset, kind of looked like a galaxy or like a planet or anyway. So I thought, well, you know, what the hey, let's do it. <laughs> so I really hope you like it, let's get into it. Now I've started off by taping up all of my fingers using my elephant washi tape and painting a base coat of China Glazer's Boho Blues which is from their new Road Trip collection and it is my favourite from that collection. I'll also be using my water marbler from the Stylish Nail Art Shop again. It really does work very well but you can use a pin or a skewer or something, just make sure it's got a really fine tip. The water I'm using as per usual is tap water which I poured into a two litre container, I put the lid on it and put it on my shelf for a couple of days. And that's all you need to do. Don't need to buy special water. You really, really don't. Now all the polishes I'm using are from the Road Trip Collection by China Glaze. So as with every normal water marble, you'll just start by dropping drops of polish into the water. And next you're going to take your tool and you're going to move it around all over the place with no particular rules, no, it's just completely up to you. If you like it, great. If you don't, start again. That's what I do a lot. And no, I don't waste polish. This is not wasteful. This is never, art is never wasteful. I hate it when people say that. That's just the weirdest thing ever to me. Okay. So once you've had a little bit of a play, what you want to do is take the tip of your water marbling tool, whichever one you're using, and get some different colours. I'm using uh, like an orangey um, colour and a yellow colour, and I'm trying to create these um, planets. I don't think they worked out so well, but when they came on the nail, that was really cool. So I really liked it. So I'm going to do, as opposed to the previous one, I'm doing two nails this time, the two middle nails, as you can see on the first photo. So exactly the same process as I did before, putting the polish in, then moving it around until I like what I see, until I think I can maybe put a little planet in there somewhere. You'll see what I mean. So with this one, once I got to the design that I where I wanted to actually add a little planet dot, or like a dot for my planet, um, I think the polish was a lot drier than it was on the first one because the little dot didn't spread out at all, like basically stayed the same size. And that's why I've sort of coming back in with more dots on top of that dot. And then when I dipped my nail in, even though it was quite small in the water on my nail, it sort of spread out a little bit because there was a buildup of polish. So anyway, that's my theory anyway. So Go ahead and do a little bit of cleanup. I'm just using my non-acetone remover and my generic cleanup brush from eBay. There's no real reason why I use non-acetone remover. I just have always used it and don't really want to change. So that's personal preference, obviously. So because this one's, oh, this was going to be a galaxy, I decided to use some white acrylic paint. And I use white acrylic paint because I find that it doesn't dry as fast as polish and tends to, like it doesn't dry out and tends to work a little better for this but you can use polish if you want to and we're just going to add some like galaxy-ish aspects to the nail a star some like little dots and things like that just all over the place and next i'm going to add china glazes fairy dust and this i think just adds a little bit more galaxy-ishness to the many that's probably not a word anyway and don't forget all the details about everything i use will be in the description box down below as per usual and then finally a coat of stash feet to seal everything in and you're done. And that's it. I really hope you like this one. Thank you so much again for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye chickies. Oh and thank you for subscribing. And thanks for that delicious thumbs up. Bye.